Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man long, um, yeah, run of better one of the mod. Ah, I fucked up that intro. Well, here we go. Um, it is time for Operation Steel Hand, um, which is another kind of attempt of advent to attack Africa. If you have followed the series, you would uh, know that specifically West Africa already has a vigilance level of, I think, 30. It might have been even a bit higher than that. So now they are trying to get a data leak, which is the pre-mission for uh, yet another retaliation mission here or an infiltration slash another invasion to North Africa. We, of course, cannot let that happen. So we put a squad in place and got a relatively nice squad. Uh, Mitch Mitchell, uh, the Grenadier, uh, Laura, uh, Baya Richardson, uh, Rascal and Glitch plus Overdrive are going to go into this mission. Our second Spark, the white one, is on that mission as well. And we are going to boost the infiltration, yes please, to reach exactly 100%. And look at that, we get our intel back, plus have only 15 enemies as a baseline. Mwah, perfecto. Let's jump right into the mission. Splendid, wonderful, we landed. And our only job is to destroy the relay before the trench mission completes. Target is pretty far away, but we also got 13 turns in order to do so. Let's use the time and our quick feet in order to move in as far as we can. Which takes a nice little full cover over here. Eh, before we move the mech, I don't like to move it. It's kind of the very first Moving into full cover here. Got eyes on a hostile. That's a pretty strong opposition. I saw a Centurion, Heavy Mech, Captain. There are quite a few Vipers around nowadays. I don't know what's up with them. Moving in with Baya. We do not have a sniper this time. So it's kind of a more brutish team where we are uh, all fighting at the front line. We certainly have had a very solid first move. And this, tea, uh, this pack here can most likely be engaged right away. Yeah, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid about the hostile patrol patrols here. I mean, could certainly use a rocket. That's a, a very long shot. Hmm. If we wait one more turn, those guys might get into position again. And that would be dangerous as well. Full cover is uh, half of us full cover for her. We might want to position her up here. Problem is the Centurion. 
we don't know where exactly it had gone to. Can we take someone who is like very fast? Yeah, okay. So let's check where is the Centurion. Okay, I'm trying to find the fields that are basically taken by the Centurion. I don't think that it has been going so far. Yeah. There's no clear answer. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Could be right there. I mean, that would be a pretty decent pull. Let's get Baya into position. Yep, the Centurion is right here, but we cannot see it yet, which is perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. Okay. Uh, are we going to overdrive? Hmm. Potentially. Well, no, 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 no. We're just pulling them. That'll shred them super well. Plus deal a lot of damage. Okay, the drone is moving in. Great. Let's do the kind of no regret moves. Which in our case means the infantry is just taking a lot of shots. Body shield just in case. This here shouldn't trigger anyone. Confirmed. What the actual heck? I was behind the mech. How is there a line of sight? Okay, whatever. Not even going to pretend that I understand why that had triggered them. Uh, that's not a bad idea, the area suppression. Bio takes an 8 protocol.
Moving into position, can't do anything elsewise. Probably need to get back because we're flanked by those two wannabes. The other mech can't let the other mech live. It's not acceptable either. Wow, there's another Viper. Mm, can't stand there. Just can't. That would be a winner. I love it. Mike, you're the best. Rapid deployment. Hitting four targets with a single flashbang. You are a genius. Lovely. Okay, now. Let's destroy the mech. That was quite necessary. Can't stand here in the open. It's just not going to work. By the way, I could have just moved to here to begin with. Probably wouldn't have triggered anything. But it takes an additional action. And that's an area of suppression for two of them. Plus the rest is disoriented. Damn. Area of suppression done. Still disoriented though. taking some damage but that was to be expected and yeah of course when it rains it pours right Again, easy shots first. Could kill the scout over there. This here could remove the cover and make it easier for us to assault them. And now seems to be the right time for overdrive. What do you guys think? Damn right, that's a good position. Okay. The rocket 
opened up so much potential. Roger that. So we're moving in, be able to flank two. Now it's a game of putting the numbers together. None of these guys are really critical that well. If we crit though, we're going to kill him for sure. Let's start with the Centurions. down to seven hmm. time to fortify ourselves still got a grenade which I will hold up for now Baya moves over here. She has chain shot. So free reload. Let's see who, if we can hit someone for a hundred percent chance. I think I'm willing to take that shot. Come on. Alright, the situation gets a bit clearer now. Both of the freaking enemies, uh, both of the freaking mutants were so tanky. I mean, we can walk fire, but that's just going to be really low damage, or we are risking to to miss. Other alternative is walk fire for 50-50 and kill the scout. There is a decent chance for a grazing shot, however. Just throw a grenade over and kill it. Still got another grenade and we killed like what three pack of three pack of three two uh, drones that's eight. So eight down and the baseline was 13 to 15. I mean, this here, no, it's a no brainer kill. You know what? Let's really focus on this guy here. We can hit him with war fire. It's good. He's down. Now, this here is a long uh, or far stretch, but we could theoretically kill it with chain shot. That's a hit. Well, although we hit both of them, it was a grazing shot. And she's most likely going to bind someone. Um, okay. Not sure why she wouldn't take the chance to bind someone, but I guess okay. 
Reloading buyer. Reinforcements come in, not next round, but probably the round afterwards. Let's kill the Viper. Moving further in. Free reload. Before we take the shot, I want to make sure that there is not another pack which we could pull. Good. Moving f Mitch further to the target. We've destroyed all of the cover here. It's a bit of a disadvantage of what we've done. So you're telling me this drone is just waiting there the entire time to eventually pop off. <laughs> I call bullshit on this one. Double Overwatch, we're doing fine. I mean, we killed nine enemies now. I don't know, was the baseline 13 to 15 or 9 to 12? Maybe only 9 to 12. There is another pack over here. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. So it was 13 to 15 because we just pulled another pack. And I've seen there was a Viper here, a Sector here, and a third something that I have not fully seen. All right, Bayer moves up. Can't really hit them, so we're just going to suppress them. Knowing that the last pick is in there, I would much rather go the other way around just to not pull another pick of enemies. Glitch moves over. Overwatch with him. Still got two grenades, so might as well use one of them. As good as some solid damage and Soften them up. For the last pack, I still got another grenade. By the way, the explosion will trigger the other pack, so it was quite um, in quite deliberate that I've made that move. We're going to give an aid protocol here, and since the stun lancers are going to move in, we're going to Overwatch. all the way over here. Unfortunately, our ranger had 
really poor position given that we triggered a pack of enemies. Fifty-fifty, you know, I mean we can take the shot. We're suppressing the heavy lancer. The mech is totally immune against fire, so no need to even try it. Yeah, and all of our Overwatch efforts were just missing. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Well, sometimes you gotta see it from the positive side, which in this case is the heavy lancers were just charging onto our position. They also brought us loot, which is good. Out of ammo here. Got some goods here. Go heal him. Mitch gets some healing. And I mean, yeah, we're again having reinforcements that are being dropped onto us. So it's definitely the right play to simply overwatch, specifically since the only person that's left cannot hit or hurt us. Reload. I'll take a 70% shot though. And there are the reinforcements. We haven't hit a single overward shot. Alright, time to call for an evac. Can I get an evac here? Because it's not going to get any better. This should trigger the reinforcements. And now is the, finally the perfect time to remove cover. Because the Viper has a lot of it and is incredibly annoying. There we go. Orders confirmed. On the move. Moving up. Yeah, we might focus that guy as well. Moving over here. Time for some fortification. Let's kill the Viper. Good, Good job. Next up, let's kill the Purifier.
by uh, moves into a position where she can flank. And finally kills the purifier. trigger reinforcements uh, so the actual the actual reinforcements pack it's a pretty solid shot they have landed over here I don't want to risk any detection so we're just going to take the 60% shot And in good old XCOM fashion, hit and crit him in full cover. Good. They are going to the pack, which means that's where the reinforcements pack is. And they are now finally showing themselves. Okay. Moving, Moving in. Objective in range. Still got plenty of time. Unfortunate. Hitting both would have been fun. Bitch moves up. High chance to just graze him. Yeah, or simply deal maximum damage Movement engaged. moving up I think this turn it is time for some overdrive Moving up, we could theoretically kill this guy. 36% chance is not really good though. I much rather take the death by fire. And we are overwatching and overwatching for potential reinforcements. your reward shots hit but you still fail to kill someone good one more turn until new reinforcements are arriving enough time for us to Hit the mech. Oh, 
reload. Get a fortify going just in case. And hopefully almost destroy the mech. Nice little crit, that was good, buddy. That was awesome. Heavy mech is down, which is good. And now. Moving deeper into the fire. This may or may not hurt him quite bad. Gonna need to reload soon. Well, we have no other choice if we want to get rid of the zombie, which we definitely want. Then to take him down. This here will leave us in a cover spot against uh, the last mech. Just standing over there. And we could go to here. It's 100% kill. But it leaves us in an exposed position. also move up to here and just say F it and kill this guy. How many hit points do we have? 13. He can't deal that much damage. Out. Okay, aggressively moving in. I've got it. 100% short, 100% short. 100% short, 100% short. Alright, we got this. Okay, time to actually do what we're supposed to be doing here. Scanning approach vector. Which is destroying this thing. Ammunition level like critical. Reload. Just trying to deal uh, the most points of damage with the, the least actions. Not sure how I could deal that low amount of damage. Moving. Got it. But we got some really nice loot on the on the positive. Negative weapons dry. Let's do this. Moving. Good. One overwatch, two overwatches, three overwatches. I think overall, okay. We might be able to kill someone. 
Got some pretty heavy packs dropping in now with uh, packs of four. Moving over here. Let's see if we can kill him. Leon says yes. I'm on the move. Nailed him. It's killer time. Luckily, luckily, next round we're going to evac. So 15. Wow. Behave. I'm telling you guys, the Mac. It's awesome. The sheer firepower. I mean, I actually like it because they are pretty vulnerable and have not a lot of utility functions except their really heavy rate. weapon time to go. so you can't simply stack them and expect that you're going to do well also that compared to normal soldiers at the beginning they are relatively pricey but on the other hand uh, we don't even have armor upgrades for them yet and he already has like what 19 hit points with uh, together with uh, the shield And when it is using its gun, the gun hurts like a lot. Twenty-five enemies didn't even feel that much. Well done, good job. And we're back in business for promotions. Love it. So we got our technician promoted, and I really like this wider area of effect so good quick burn is also starting to appreciate that almost as much as salvo if you could only have more ammunition for the gauntlet that would be good i mean you could have this concussion rocket which is whatever. Yeah, the increased range of uh, radius of effect is good. Long uh, shots with the rocket isn't bad either, specifically <clears throat> if you want to reach targets further away. Can make up for some, some nice uh, playmaking abilities, but the problem is without the extended range, the flamer is so and so, but with the extended range, it's actually really good. And the technician, low level technician that I want to do, um, will use the f all of the flamer abilities. I just want to see how that is going to work. Good. Overdrive uh, simply purchases field magic, uh, medic, which is great. He has shitty abilities, like Comet Fitness is good, don't get me wrong, but why the heck would you give him explosive grenades to one additional damage, volatile mix, and so on and so forth, and, and flush as a shot. Yeah, landing reflexes and Comet Fitness is good, the rest is not so good. Bayern. She has a couple of really nice abilities. Bring it on. Untouchable, serial. <laughs> yeah, well. Good. Um, I don't. 
I were not going to take the cyclic fire. Matter of fact, I could even argue that chain shot was a mistake given that she could take rapid fire later. Um, but then again, the only real good alternative was probably demolition here. Yeah, you could argue that that isn't too bad, specifically given that that we often have problems with um, with cover. Well, so we could go for cool under pressure, which with Overwatch together isn't bad, and she suppresses quite a bit. That expands uh, her suppression capabilities even a little bit further. I think we're going to go for cool under pressure because, well, yeah, let's try that because that'll give us the option A, she will hit even better and B, it'll, it'll be an, a chance to crit and that is good together with bring him on. Because if uh, she sees a lot of enemies, she will have a higher crit chance, uh, higher damage. Fifteen points for that, though, mm -hmm. which means we can't get untouchable. I think, to be honest, we're just going to save for untouchable and serial. The abilities are just better. Our mech. Yes, yeah, formidable. I like body shield, but shredder is probably better. And since this is going to be a standard build, we're using we're taking the standard abilities. Good. We got a couple of Alarium cores and some PCSs. Just wondering with the rookies if all of them already have PCSs. I mean, we can't give her superior perception, but we most certainly can give her depth, uh, depth perception. Yeah, the sparks don't have personal uh, combat sims. Which sort of makes sense. It seems that the others already have their PCSs. Yep, defense. We got a couple of them spare, but that is, I think, a lux uh, luxury problem. Good. Still can't remove any negative traits. Which means we're back to the Geoscape. I like it. The last mission was pretty damn good. And at the moment, we only infiltrate uh, these two regions. I mean, we have a lot of recruits. So that's not bad, and we continue to recruit. I guess that's overall good. Wait a second, we have 10, 12 people here. We already recruited um, a few of them. That, of course, changes everything. Finally, we can focus on making some money without being constantly interrupted. 
And to boost that even a bit more, let's find an engineer. Well, perfect. Aliens hide and ambush amongst the population, placing hidden faceless aliens on most missions for a month. And speaking about most missions, we got ourselves a three days, five hour. Um, reduce the enemy strength mission. Hmm. You know, since what's since the vigilance level is so low here, we could get a lot of extraction missions as well, which means. We could actually... Hmm. Now nah, let's do the recruitment first. Um, I don't want another high vigilance area right next to our liberated area. So we might want to, with all of the uh, rookies that we do have down here, we might want to go from recruitment and discover a couple of missions. There we go. Is a scientist available? No. And by the way, one of the scientists actually seemed to be killed. Which is crazy if you think about it. We had six scientists. But by putting an injured scientist into I think it was down here. I think it was down here. No, it was up here. Exactly, it was up here. Putting an injured scientist into this position, he effectively died. Wow. Well, that's bad. Good. Let's see if we can staff this mission here. Setting course for Sector 3, Brazil. Let me do that real quick. So here's the plan. It doesn't look great because we probably need to spend intel again, but it says we can get enemy material. And if I'm not completely mistaken, uh, the ambush for advent troops means that we can gather um, the corpses of the fallen, which for us would be helpful because when we're now infiltrating, we probably can't take 33, but we very much can take kind of a moderate amount, around 20, with a decent team um, of six. And I just balanced it around uh, making this mission still doable. We don't have a concealed start, except, of course, with our Shinobi. But we do have a decent team. I mean, Baya, uh, who was at the last mission, hits pretty uh, damn well. We do have Rascal, who was also on the last mission, Overdrive. We got our Sniper. She now got... Um, it's one of the Lobby Snipers. Um, the one with the damn good ground, lone wolf and uh, resilience uh, build. She now got, uh, got a name, Lights Out. And we got our Prime uh, Spark with us, plus um, the Shinobi. So I think we can do that. We're losing 30 intel. But we do have alien data pads, so theoretically if, if we would need more intel, that'll be fine. Great. I think that was the right decision. It's only three days until that mission goes off, though. Ouch. Ah, that's a bad one. Well, it's not. 
Wait a second. This is an ambush advent forces, security breach. Oh, okay, so I see I see where this is going. This here is a good old get rid of uh, the get rid of uh, the faceless one mission. I like it. Setting course for South Africa. I think we have no Haven advisor though, so we would go directly into the mission, which kind of also ends uh, this um, uh, this episode. We're directly going into into the mission without the Haven advisor, so just resistance operatives. Let's hope that there are not too many, um, uh, not too many faceless ones. Uh, the last time we fought three, that was pretty daunting. If you only have, uh, if you only have resistance operatives. Um, other than that, thank you for uh, watching this episode. As always, thanks for the support, and see you in the next mission. Bye bye.